All right, Pop, Troy and I are going to show you the, uh, the fix here. I think we got it set up. And so there's the PTO gearbox. And uh, what I did was I flattened that piece out. And uh, it was already Healy cool, which is good. And so I got, a, I got a good, strong connection with it. And I used... Um, this stuff here, which is JB Weld, still reinforced epoxy, 4,900 PSI is what that is. Put that thing in there, and then uh, I epoxied the threads, and then I epoxied the base, and I ran a nut on that, epoxied that, and the threads underneath it, and then ran another nut on it. So it's pulling itself against the... Uh, um, uh, transaxle and I had to do that because I needed a spacer because you know I lost my ear there so that space is out exactly to that and then uh, on this one this ear was good except for a small chunk underneath it here so what I did uh, it's still wet so what I did was I did the same thing I epoxied the threads ran this in and then I Put epoxy around the base and filled in that piece underneath and slid a washer on there and then this is basically a spacer it's a nut but it's a big nut so it's a spacer and then i ran a nut on that to hold that washer on there solid and this one's just fine i still epoxy did also but um it's just fine so hopefully that'll hold we'll see so troy and i are going to show you the uh so this is the um this is the uh, mcs and it's got this white stuff on it. It's jet black, but I tried to wipe it off and show it about cheap paper towels, so that didn't work. But um, you see here, PTO goes in there. That's belt driven. Goes into that impeller, chops it up. It's got a speed adjustment for the. Uh, for the impeller and um, it's supposed to be for the most part you can do it you can can unload it sitting on the tractor so hit this is a spring loaded latch just a latch is all it is and it's got a little hydraulic cylinder right there so it'll allow that thing to drop and then can you see the bar underneath it mm -hmm. You let that thing go. The door comes out. Pull it back. Lash, lash the door. It's got a big rubber seal underneath the door. So I'm going to allow that about 15 hours to dry. And then I'm going to put the rest of the PTO on there. Put the gearbox. Got the uh, clutch in there tonight, so we'll give that about 15 hours to dry. Put the gearbox on, and then put the MCS on. We should be good to go.